the the idea that like, hey, ten years from now there's going to be several thousand thylacine back in Tasmania. Facial tumor disease is going to go away. The overabundance of prey is going to disappear. Fa- facial tumor disease. Facial tumor disease is a thing that. Um, a lot of the animals, and particularly the Tasmanian uh, devils have in Tasmania, it's herpes on the face. But it comes from an overabundance of prey because the alpha predator, the thylacine, has been knocked out. So oh. if you go drive down a road, yeah, look at it, poor bastards. It's oh, bad. It's herpes. God. It's actual herpes. Um, oh, my God. It's horrible. It's horrible. And that's the Tasmanian tiger, which is a, what a... The Tasmanian devil. Uh, sorry, Tasmanian yeah. devil. What a crazy little animal that fucker is. They're so cool, man. And the noises they make. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're wild. See if you can find a, a recording of Tasmanian devil noises. Yeah. But anyway, I'm just excited because it's like... It is crazy. It seems like we live in an alternate universe where these things are real now, which is just so crazy compared to a few years ago. What does it? T- Here we go. Uh, Look at those little fuckers. <laughs> They're going mouth to mouth with each other. If you're camping in Tasmania, which I've done for thylacine searches and stuff, and you hear that, it is the most, like, blood-curdling, terrifying, and then they're this big. <laughs> but yeah. you hear this, and you're like, something is going to rip me to shreds. They and it's just like these French little buggers. Bulldog. Yeah, look at them. Yeah. They're real cute. Really cute. Does anybody ever have them as pets? I wonder if you can domesticate them. I don't know. But my number one pet's a wombat. Have a you ever wombat? seen a pet wombat? No, they have them. Oh my god! Dude. People have them as pets. I mean, in Australia, like as rescues and stuff. I don't oh. know. I don't know if they're in the pet trade. But um, I I went to a place in South Australia. Oh, oh look, so, at look at that Tasmanian guy! Devil. <laughs> oh, look, he's a little puppy. <laughs> they're adorable. They are. So do people. But this is yeah, like little tiny there. babies. Like I wonder what what you know. It's. Maybe it's like some animals, like you get to a certain age, you can't really keep them anymore. I wouldn't think they'd make very good pets. I went to a, a place in Tasmania where they dragged a wallaby carcass in that had been hit by the road. It was like the cartoon version of piranhas, you know, where they come in and it's like, yeah. and they rip it to shreds. These things ripped this dead wallaby to, to nothing. It was like maybe 10 of them in under a minute. Really? Just to nothing, to just bones and gnawing. It was wild to see. Most people think of the Tasmanian Devil as that cartoon. The that's that, that's yeah. literally when if people think about that. It's one of the only animals where the cartoon is more popular than the actual animal. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. Like I couldn't pick that animal out of a lineup. If you told right. me, I mean, what now is now I can because I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. But if look at these little. Let me hear some volume. Wow. They only weigh about seven <laughs> kilos. You gotta love Australians. Yeah. There's also a wombat ear, too. A little cutie. That's a wombat ear? Look, 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 look. This is what I'm talking about. (laughs) That's a wombat? Yeah, that's a juvenile one, but they're just little trucks. Little cutie. I love wombats. I think they're so adorable. So people keep those as pets as adults? Yes, they do. There was a woman I met who had one in her house. Um, Man, we we had this video on on our little podcast that I don't know how to find it, but it was hilarious. And this woman hand-raised this wombat. And it ran around her house like your dog does. But the thing is, it's like this truck. You know, they're like super low to the ground, huge shoulders. And like if it decided to run like through the dog gate or through the refrigerator, it just went like bowling straight through it. It was amazing. (laughs) Cute little guys. Oh, I think they're so cute. But these guys have unbelievable mange in Tasmania. Like, Jamie, Uh, if you type in, you know, wombat mange, we've looked at a lot of gross animal stuff today, but... It's like, it's brutal. And the reason the mange is so bad, there's no predators and they're way overpopulated. And so when there's that many animals in a small environment with overpopulation, they get diseases. And so, oh, look. Ugh. Yeah. So all this is potentially fixable, you know, if you put a predator, <sighs> the right predator back in Tasmania. Right. And so that would help Tasmania. And are they look planning the on doing down. this to other continents? Oh, that's terrible. That's what they look like, though. Oh, that, God. that image you saw for a, a split second there, that's what they. Not all, but that's what a ton of them look like in Tasmania with this rampant mage. Well, that's the chupacabra. Straight up. The, the chupacabra the, is a coyote. A mangy that has coyote. Horrible mange. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, and they've captured them. Like people, we caught a chupacabra, and it's sitting in a yeah. cage, all it's terrified. Fucked eyes up. are swollen yeah. shut, and yeah, yeah, it's mm-hmm. just a fucked up coyote. Yep. The um, the North American mammals. Like, are they planning on eventually doing that uh, North American mammals as well and reintroducing some? I'm not sure. Well, the mammoth would be in Alaska, so that's North oh, America. They are yeah. doing Siberia all the way to Alaska. So they that that mammoth step environment those grasslands used mm-hmm. to range from spain all the way to north america like wow. all across the bering land bridge and all that ice was like trampled and blah blah blah. all these savannah lands that are now big forests 